We're here at CyberScoop's Zero Trust Summit with Davarius Peoples, CIO at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Davarius, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Let me start by asking, how would you describe your agency's progress in deploying uh, things like enterprise-wide uh, platforms for identity and access management and multi-factor authentication is kind of required now by OMB? Right, uh, from an Army Corps of Engineers perspective, I think we've made significant progress. Uh, however, we have run into a few challenges. Uh, being able to ensure that everything is properly configured and it integrates well. Uh, being able to ensure that those who need access have access. Those are some of the challenges, just really identifying the right individuals that need that access and then being able to ensure that they can properly connect to the mission critical data that they need. But we're working through it though, so, so progress will be made this fiscal year as well as next fiscal year as we, uh, as we begin to implement those capabilities. And then next, what challenges are you still facing um, trying to maintain, for example, a complete inventory of authorized devices, again, as sort of spelled out by OMB, and, and ensure that your endpoint detection and response tools are properly deployed? Right, I think some of the challenges is really one from an endpoint perspective, which are your end devices, just ensuring that your CMDB is uh, really updated, which is really your command database uh, where, where your inventory and assets sit. Just making sure that that is accurate. Also from an endpoint perspective, ensuring that we can properly manage, patch, maintain those devices. Uh, being that there's a lot of software in the enterprise, devices are so many places, it's really hard to ensure that you actually properly patch those devices and then once they're patched, users have the ability to actually connect and operate with them in an efficient manner. So those are some of the challenges we're seeing that we're beginning to work through, but working closely with Army, larger Army, as well as the rest of DOD, I think we're making a lot of leaps and strides. And then next, how well equipped are agencies in general, and yours in particular, um, compared to a couple of years ago, uh, when it comes to being able to identify and isolate IT environments that may have been compromised? Yeah, I think we've come a long ways. Um, technology has, has allowed us to modernize how we do business, as well as different philosophies has allowed us to really look at how we approach certain things. Um, so, so with those things, I think we have done a, a lot better job, as well as being able to communicate across the aisle. Um, understanding what, what other organizations are doing as well as internal to your organization helps you be, begin to identify as well as assess and then mitigate the risk. So, so I think we've done a great job, but there's still more room to grow um, and working with industry partners to help us get there. I think that'll be a success and a huge win. And then last question for you. Looking ahead, um, how would you say OMB Zero Trust policies are altering your agency's longer term IT investment strategies? Right. I think it's forcing us to look at how we deliver IT services in a secure manner differently. Um, a lot of things that we, specifically at the Corps of Engineers, have projected from a cyber perspective in, this, in, in, in the previous fiscal years coming up as we planned, we had to pull a lot of those things to the left to really implement some of the secure cyber practices. And that's just not on the IT side from an information technology and a network perspective, but also on the operational technology side of the house. When you think about levees, locks, dams, those critical waterways, those things we secure, it's really forced us to look at our operational technology in a lot more details as we secure a lot of our nation waterways and those type of things, especially from an Army Corps of Engineers perspective. Well, DeVarius Peoples, thank you so much for joining us here at the Zero Trust Summit. Hey, thank you for having me. I definitely appreciate it.